winning the whole thing. Legend Conference Championship is what's on the horizon for both of these guys. And Drini's going to get it first. Hill out of the end zone. He runs into traffic at the 28. You don't mind, Scott. You know, this, we already know this is a playoff game. Now it's even on the line. It's as big a stage as it gets. But I want to put it in perspective for those at home. Both of these guys have already made $20,000 for making it this far. That doesn't include their $1,000 per win from the regular season. So you could add that on top. The winner of this game goes from $20,000 to $40,000. So this is a $20,000 game of John Madden football that's taking place right now. And for the 18-year-old young Dreeny from Washington, D.C., and that 30-year-old, Chris McFarland, Dub Dot Dubby from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They are well aware of those stakes. And they are going to get ready to leave it all out on the virtual gridiron over these next 20 minutes of gameplay. Dubby's won well over 100,000 in his career playing Madden football. Drini is getting close to 100,000. A win here would do it. Six figures for grabbing the sticks and John Madden football and playing your heart out. We've come a long way, Scott, a $20,000 game of Madden, and it's not even the finals yet. It's the divisional round. <laughs> the winner of the whole thing, just in case you're curious, 100,000. Ever wonder what video games could do for you? Hands it off to Herschel Walker. Gets two yards. That's going to bring up a second and eight for Trini. When you're playing for this kind of money, so much on the line, you just have to be surgical. You have to be so on point on everything you do. Any critical mistake could cost you the ball game. It could be the difference. So you can't take a playoff. You see Trini right there using the timeout early in the first quarter. And you like to see that you can't take those timeouts with you to the second half. Everything has to be on point in this type of ball game. These guys met the sixth game of the season. Drini was a 21 to 17 victor over Dubby. It was a close game that came down to a takeaway, a takeaway that favored Drini in a good run here on second and eight. Drini just going to continue to pound this rock. He, well, the thing that you got to know. Well, Trini, if you see him come up on the center, ah! that big sack by Dubby, one of those single back type formations, you have to be playing run first. Well, we know how Dubby feels about facing competitors that like to use that Giants uniform. As a big point. Eagles fan, yeah. it triggers him. Yeah, that's a good point. That was a big user sack by Dubby. You don't see that often. There you go, boys. Walker uh -oh. spins away. Look like he might have could have got outside. Please, please, game, please, please. Pass I'll be ball. saying please because he had it blown up in the backfield. But that Herschel Walker, that's why you go and spend that 55 cap on him because he can make plays like that. That was the mutt hero version of Leonard Williams. They got absolutely blown up by Herschel Walker. But which mutt hero was it? Well, there's the 80, the 85. 85 version. Take that 95 overall Herschel Walker against that 85. He's susceptible to a broken tackle, but you're done. But if you're Drini, you know you can't make a living like that all day. Oh, Drini at 18 years old. This young, your first year of being eligible, you vote, you've already won a belt. Got your chance going for your second. As a matter of fact, both of these guys in the hunt for winning their second belt. Only eight people all time have won one of those championship belts from the MCS. Two of them sitting down right now playing against each other. Keep in mind, the only player to ever win two belts is Michael Skimbo. These guys trying to join them in that category. Skimbo, good friends with Dubby. 
That's the guy he practices with. The kid's caught Lavin. And here's first and 10 at the 11. Stretch left. Stretch again, cuts it back, and Herschel oh, Walker will find the end zone. And the young Drini, 18 years old, he'll strike first. It's like you said, it's about 18 years old. Young Drini on the biggest stage of them all, comes out on his opening drive, puts together a methodical, methodical one, gets the seven, and puts Dubby's back against the wall early in this first quarter. Let's see how Dub responds. Takes up nearly two and a half minutes. That's half the first quarter. And Devin Hester can't get free. Take a look at it again. Whoop. See ya. It's just good stick work from Drini. And we've talked about this where he's a little bit different in True Boy, the way he runs the ball, where True's trying to truck you and spin on you. Drini, he doesn't really use a lot of those ball carrier moves. He just has good stick work. He follows his blocks, gets into the open field, and tries to get on his horse. First and 10. Can W respond? Michael Vick. No! And throws oh, it back. Oh, oh. And what that means is Drini was controlling the guy before he threw it and jumped in front. The AI did none of that. That was all Drini. <laughs> Look at him showing some emotion. That was a huge empty, Scott, because he opens up the game with a touchdown, forces the turnover in Dubby's territory. He's in prime position to make this two possessions as long as he can protect the rock. Dubby knows that was huge. Critical mistake by Dub Dot. And Drini pounced all over it. And the guys mentioned in our pregame. Oh. oh my goodness, that would have been my dream. George Fant was open for a touchdown. Went for the possession catch right there. You got to think maybe if Drini tried to get aggressive with Fant, pressed the Y button, he might have jumped up, made a better effort. That's a left tackle. Yeah, a, you're asking a lot. A free left. agent that only played one year in college at Western Kentucky as a tight end. He was a former hoopster. Third and two. Drini plays him to tackle. He plays at tight end. Because he'll block, and you see Fant with the lead block right there, number 74. Try to cut it back against Harrison Smith. And Smith lowers the boom at the four. Maybe could have stretched this out. The boom. funny thing to me was when we brought Fant up to Drini, he kind of <laughs> gave us a smirk, like, oh, you found my secret weapon, did you? <laughs> yeah, he gave some credit. He said, what, Kerry Q? And who was the other guy that said Harry it was you? Somebody else. He got me drawing. Play. Yeah, I know. He he, he gave he gave Another credit. Madden fanatic. Where credit was was due. Careful, Dream. Uh, he's passing the ball a lot for a guy that's already in field goal range right here. Go up two possessions. He's had a lot of success with Herschel Walker. I'd like to see him get the ball in Herschel's hands, but now he's got himself in the third and goal. Hands it off to Walker, and Herschel will get to the seven. So fourth and goal. He's going to kick the field goal here, make it a two-possession game. And that's kind of a, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's almost a win for W. You throw an interception, and you're able to, to hold him here to a three. He's just going to let this play clock wind down to about three seconds before he attempts to kick this field goal. Yeah, it's, it's a win for Dubby, but if you're Drini, you'll take it. The fact that you're up two possessions earlier in this ball game, it's a big deal. That'll make it 10 to nothing. The entire first quarter has not belonged to Dubby. It's been all Drini. Dubby in his patented Eagles jersey. He's been playing real good. All season long when he, when he has one of those Eagles jerseys, but we know how Drini turns up when he puts on that bandana. He's got the Brian Dawkins on, of course, Hall of Famer. That's the Drini point. with the bandana. Patented and bandana. You gotta have it, you need a lucky something. Let's go. These guys are superstitious as well. Like a lot of football players are. <laughs> I used to wear these Clemson Tiger socks from the 70s. 
Yeah. <laughs> orange stripes at the top. Of course, I had a I had to tape it over it, you know, so you couldn't see the orange because, you know, in high school we were red and blue. But you, you you got something, and you feel like if you got those on, that that's that's like an extra edge. When I saw him put on the bandana, I started calling him Daniel son. <laughs> Not the karate kid, he's the matted kid. Ooh. Right now he's been sweeping Ooh. the leg of Dubby. And here comes the second and seven team. When we get on the other side of the first quarter, it's been all dreamy, 10 to nothing. Start of the second corner here in the divisional round of the Legend Conference. Here in the Ultimate League, here for Madden 18. And it's 10 to nothing. The youngster. 12 years the junior to the man on the left, Dubby. Is that man right there. Let's go. Philadelphia's favorite son. If there's one thing we know about Dub Doc. He's not going to go quietly into the night in this game. He's, he's going to fight till the very end. If you're dreaming, you cannot take your foot oh, off the gas. Oh, and he throws oh, another one. There. Oh, my oh. goodness. Jabril Peppers with his second interception. And watch how far he comes for this one, RG. Oh, my goodness. Talk about not taking your foot off the gas. Dreamy says, don't worry about it. Second interception this first half of Dream. He bluffed like he was going to go deep with his user and circled back around and took away the drag. That's why the user defender is so important, Coltrane. Usually the AI is not defending multiple routes, but you as a user can defend multiple routes throughout the play, and all it takes is that one split second for your opponent to make a mistake. You guess right. That's what Trini did right there. Maybe it's way too early to make these comparisons. Let's go! But you were around back then. I didn't check it, it's Dreamy a young problem. He's an amazing user, an amazing runner. Only 18 years old, making a, a storm in his rookie season, much like Problem did a decade ago. Yeah, it's funny, a lot of those top Madden guys with a similar game plan to Problem. You got True Boy who loves to run the ball. Fight for me. You know, play, play solid defense. Dreamy, obviously, a defensive specialist who can run the ball, and nobody embodies that game plan more. You're gonna Dreamy jump. On, you're gonna jump top. on me here. I know you are. I think Dreamy has the best user in the Ultimate League. Uh, it, it, it's a fair. You know, you're not just saying something to say. No, it, no it, I'm not trying fair. to trigger you. I'm just. Uh, you know, we've. This is now the 11th game of the Ultimate League. Of course, we've seen Drini play all year long, all the way back to October. It, it just gets, it, when everyone is this good in the league, it's just hard to separate them sometimes. You know what I mean? Drini will make some amazing plays, and then before you know it. Back of the end zone. Whoa, touchdown, oh, Drini. Huge touchdown for Dream. Three possession ball game now, Cole. Assuming he can hit the extra point. And how much of this is possibly an emotional letdown for Dubby? You had a game against Musafa that was back and forth, back and forth. It, it drained us. I can't imagine what it did to Dubby. And Drini is taking advantage of that here in the first half, 17 to nothing. And the other thing that hurts Dubby, that's a really good point, Cole. But he's also hurt by the fact that you got guys like Trini sitting with problem, getting to watch that last playoff game, looking at the tape, coming up with a game plan, preparing correctly. And that's one of the benefits of having your camp around you. Well, that's the advantage of him winning that last game of the season against Joe, getting the bye, getting to watch. And he's come out on fire. Dubby's got to answer. And he's losing yards. Two for four with two interceptions. Dubdon needs to get something going. Better put that Rocky soundtrack on in his playlist and start to get it popping here. He might have to get the floaties out if things keep going this way. Has B open finally. He's been trying to get it to Hester on the drag. The entire first half finally connects with him for the first down. 
three for five with two intos. It's only incomplete passes resulting in interceptions. And I think that's going to be open now. And a good read there to Anderson. Because now, if you're Trini, you got a three-possession game. You don't want to maybe take the risk of trying to take away the drag. You're, you're watching everything in that intermediate to deep areas of the field. Yeah, yeah, you could go that route, but this early in the game as well, Scott, you could also really just try the to dagger. put him in the body bag, <laughs> karate kid style, and take some risk and send that heat and put Dove under some pressure. But you, you could really go either way. That's the beautiful thing up about being up three possessions. Vic gets loose. You really play the game however you want, especially in the first half. Maybe in the second half, you definitely want to move to that strategy. But there are times you can set yourself up to be more aggressive because you have such a dominated lead. Go, man. Henry gets hit. That'll drop him back. Third and seven. Here in the Ultimate League Arena, the bell is tolling on third down. And a jump up front. And I think that's going to be offsides on Drini. Third and two. One second before the two-minute warning. About Drini, this was the guy that started his ultimate league season off at 0-2. And over. Vic will get the first down. Come on, man. And Harris Jr. Able to stop him right past the line to gain. Vic's got to be careful right there. Luckily, that was Chris Harris and not like a night train lane or a Ronnie Lott. Nice snap. There's Henry. Got room. That'll get to the 33. And this is what hurts Dubby, too, is we see Derrick Henry get busy for him throughout the entire season. But being down three possessions now, it's going to be harder to get him involved. Oh, and Michael Vick, it's a quarterback committee meeting in the backfield. They sack him up. 90 seconds to go in the half. The lead is 17. Gotta get a touchdown here before the half. And Michael Vick, he's living on the edge. Trini is just all over him right now. Cubby thinking about it. This is a tough field goal. He's trying to 55 yarder, Scott. Both these guys have been on the big stage. You mentioned it before, belt winners. It was Madden 17 Bowl. Look at that face. For Dubby, defeated problem. Came down to the final play. It's a tough decision for Dubby, even with as much experience as he has. He knows this is a rough field goal. He's going to have to kick this with full power and full good accuracy. He's got Matt Prater. Big. It's the full power. It might drift. It's drifting and stays within the uprights. And maybe that will be something he can build on. That's a huge kick for Dubby. Get it back down to two possessions. He desperately needed those points right here. And now he needs to step up on this 41 seconds. You can't give Greeny an inch here. Gotta watch out for Tyreek. Hill. He's return specialist. 37 seconds, no timeouts for Drini. Leading by 14. Return specialist ability has looked good throughout this, ult this ultimate Long goal. Yeah. Hester Hill. Sleeper ability out there. Made a difference. Mariota. And he will take off. Slides down and the clock's on the move. He rushes his troops back to the line. No timeout, box ticking. And he'll throw that away. If you're Trini, you want it to be a minimum 14 point lead at the half. You can't risk it. Yeah, yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth, Scott. You throw everything away here, literally. Playmaker B, and then came back to him. Looked like he could have ran B to the sideline. 
Not sure why he playmakered him up. That would have been about 20 yards downfield, and he could have got out of bounds. Goes to Herschel, and Walker takes a big hit. W uses a timeout and forces Drini to think about this here. And I think you just punt this out of bounds, don't you? Well, this is why if I'm W, you know, you, the return seems nice. You want to get the ball in the hands of Hester, but you got to think Drini's going to go out of bounds. So go for the punt block because you could block it and take it the other way, but he, he picks the return. Not enough players go to that pump block in these situations, Scott. You better get some hang time on this. See, it, Diabolical. You knew that was going to happen. Diabolical. And here at the half, 17 to 3, Drini trying to hold on and make it to the conference championship. Here at the start of the third quarter, 17 to 3, Drini with a 14 point lead on the back of two interceptions there in the first half. And he was able to turn into points. There's Drini. He has 10 gameplay minutes to hold on to this lead and turn his $20,000 so far into $40,000. Trying to double down here in the divisional round. This is when it, it gets big. When you can double your money like that in one game of John Madden football, keep your ultimate league season alive. The dream of getting two belts. Drops him at the 21. Clowney with a second sack. Nobody open. And to think about it, just last year, young Dreamy not eligible to compete. In the MCS, and you called it, Coltrane. I we said were, he'd be there, and he's there. He was. said at the Madden <laughs> Championship, there's a lot of young talent out there. We can't wait to see him. Guys like Joel Trini. And there's that defensive look. They showed up. See the play arc bringing the pressure. He rolls away from it. He throws an absolute dot to the 49. No room for celebration when you're trailing by 14. That's just focus right there of W, and that's for mm. sure. Dangerous. They focus at the task at hand if you dump dot. Play action. Throws it up top. But Dreamy's Reed, got a man oh, there. Ed Reed. He's still up. The Ravens legend with the pick. Let's go, man. And that's pick number three. Devastating to dump dot. Devastating. Usually that's reserved for the lotto. But Dreamy. Look at the user control of Dreamy. Goes outside, keeps leverage, flips on, use a pick. You were talking about a stick work. There it is. I'm telling you. Play right there. I'm telling you. I mean, I get it. Problem with Anthony Barr is a magical relationship. But this Dreamy can click on any guy on the field and make a play. This is his game plan is perfect for this kind of football, where you just want to run the ball and kill the clock. And there he goes, move the chain, pick up first downs. And I, you know, I mean that as no disrespect to problem when I said it earlier, but a lot of it's just the difference between a 29-year-old and an 18-year-old and their reaction time. You better be careful. You, you know how problem gets when you, when you, when you motivate them. I, I mean, like I'm that. not trying to disrespect because, you know, Drini's one of his guys, and he, I, to be honest, he learned from the best. You call him, you call him Drini's son, the problem's got to be Mr. Miyagi. I, and I talked to Drini, you know, he's only 18 year old, years old. I didn't know if he had ever seen the Karate Kid. He confirmed that he saw it, and not, not that, you know, remake with Jackie. He saw the original. I, I was impressed by him. A lot of these young bucks, they, they haven't seen the classic. They don't know. Like that. Yeah, they don't know. It's crazy that that's a classic nowadays. <laughs> Gets a block, picks up the first down. This is what I'm talking about, Scott. It's just a perfect game plan for this situation. He lets that play clock, you see him wind it all the way down. Dubby looks on. And if you're Dubby, you just you gotta sell out to stop Thank this run, but Somebody it's scary because as soon as you know you do, Dreamy Somebody. might just catch you off guard and hit you up top. Dreamy in true clock mode. 
In the other divisional round, we have Problem and True. So could Drini and Problem be on a collision course in the conference championship here on the legend side? Look at these first down after first down, run after run. Milking the clock. 30 seconds of play. Young Drini's wise beyond his years. It's been amazing playoffs thus far. How amazing is going to be the Madden Bowl? The championship of Madden 18. I've never been to Dallas. <laughs> I spent 20 years there. Been to the new stadium. You've been to that Cowboy Stadium yet? Absolutely. I've seen Romo get hurt plenty of times. That's right. Shout out to Romo. What, what a job he did in the booth this year, huh? No, no dice? <laughs> As a play-by-play -play guy, I guess I see where you're coming from. <laughs> As a fan, you got him. I know, he's, he's great. He actually married a girl that went to my high school. She did the weather locally in Dallas. And of course, they met, and one thing led to another. And Romo's a good guy, and yes. she's a tremendous gal as well. And the thing was, he didn't just flourish with the predictive analysis in the booth. I mean, the passion that he was bringing, you, you could tell that that's a guy that's Still got an urge to get out there and play. Big sack right there, the dub. Fourth and 14 in a $20,000 game of Madden. You have to think, Drini's just going to let this clock wind down. and He'll kick it. About no time left on that play clock and make this a three-possession ball game going into the fourth quarter. 51-yarder. The Philadelphia native's back's ever been up against the wall, I mean. Greeny's on the verge of pushing him through the wall on this one. Kick is up, and it is good. Barely, but that pushes the lead back to 17. Of course, the draft this year will be at the Star Center, which is the practice facility for the Cowboys up in Frisco, Texas, just north of Dallas. And that place is phenomenal. Headed to the fourth. It is 20-3. Drini with a big lead. Back here at the start of the fourth quarter. The lead is 17. 20-3. The youngster getting the best of the veteran dubby. Just five minutes away. I'm just, uh, you know, it's it's like Allen Iverson, the youngster, putting Jordan on skates. I mean, these young bucks, nothing to mess around with, like a sprained ankle. I don't know how Dubby's going to feel about you calling Drini Iverson, seeing how much of a Philly fan Dub is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where Drini's basketball alliance is. I know he's a you know, big Denver Broncos fan, obviously rocking the Giants right here. Maybe he's a Wizards fan, you know, from D.C. Yeah, maybe so. John Wall and company. Three interceptions for Dubby with Mike Vick. Who's your basketball team for? You know, I was a longtime Bulls fan. Let's go! And uh, I had a radio show, and I publicly broke up with them. <laughs> broke up with the Chicago Bulls. That's enough of those shenanigans. You know, I worked for the Dallas Mavericks for four years. I'm not, I'm not stop sleeping on your jump shot, is it? Might be real deal. Did beat Michael Finley in a game of horse. He gave me his pair of Jordans. And Wait, did you just say you beat Michael Finley in a game of horse? Yeah. <laughs> was this one of those, like, charity cases where he... he no, this was Reunion like, oh. Arena after shoot-around. My Finley office used to be in Reunion Arena. Second, Second and inches. Monsters. Of course, that was 15 years ago and about 150 pounds ago. <laughs> I don't want to get too far away from the... Give yeah. me one shot that you hit that he wasn't able to follow up on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good from the corner, the corner yeah. three. Oh. Oh. $20,000 game of Madden, and that youngster right there has got a 17-point lead. Michael Finney in the game, of course. 
Yeah, the guy from Wisconsin. You know, Greg Buckner played at Clemson. He was on that team. And so I got a lot of access to the players in those early years of Mark Cuban owning the team. I've lived a life. I've lived a life, Archie. Well, you good, but Third and ten. Beating Finley in a game. I don't know you're playing them, but to win. It's like me saying I took up down Paul Pierce one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I want to believe you. Not behind it. I'm giving a lot of credit to Finley. Finley's not on the Paul Pierce level. Finley was nice. Oh, pretty good. There's Teddy Ginn Jr. Game not out of reach, but Dubby needs to have everything go his way in this next 340. Does have all three of his timeouts left, which would be big. Tell you what, if you got to play Young Dream. Later on in these playoffs, you better be watching the tape. Problem sitting in the back defense. right now, and and I know he's got True Boy up next, but neither of this those is guys. Two people there. Another pick. He's just all over anything Dub Dot wants to do. When you see Dubby's face in his hand, gonna start calling Dubby the Oprah of Madden. You get a pick. You get a pick. You get a pick. And, you know, this is a guy, you know, Chris McFarlane. He, does things the right way. He's so passionate about the game. He, you know, he's constantly streaming for the community. He's got his media brand out there. So much charisma. He puts so much into this game. So much passion. A mentor to a lot of the younger players. And right now, he just unfortunately ran into a buzzsaw. Young Dream, oh my gosh. Salt in the wounds, Deshaun Jackson. The former Eagle will do it against Dubby. Wow. He's a phenom. The rookie, Drini, putting on a show. Definitely. I'm at 18 years old. Already a Madden Challenge champion. First year of eligibility. And he just continues to accomplish things. And, you know, if, if Eric Problem Wright sees something in you, Chances are you're probably pretty good. Started the season 0-2. Was nervous about going 0-3. You, you got to love that about this Ultimate League format. It's not a single elimination type season. You get plenty of time to turn things around, but unfortunately for W, that's not the case here in the playoffs. This is win and go home. And it's looking like W's going back to Philadelphia. He was so dominant running the ball, mixing that in with Henry. Truck stick, big runs. He saw none of that in this game. Had no faith in the running game. He never really had a chance to get it going. Through the two interceptions early in the first half, you know, went down three possessions before you really even knew what was going on. And once you're in that situation, it, it, it's hard to start trying to establish a run. And let's be real, Drini is just a killer on defense. The adjustments he's making, the stick work he's showing. This is a well-prepared young man. Doesn't get too into his emotions. You never really see him complaining about anything. He just looks locked in and focused. He dismantled Kiv. And the man challenge to win a belt. I'm saying Drini's got me convinced. Next time I play Madden, I'm bandana or not. <laughs> you might want to put three or four bandanas yeah, on. I'm There's another pick. Bandana or not. It's not even a question. I'm going to be around the house. <laughs> Petite bandana wrapped around. Locked in on the sticks. You know, Dubby's got the t-shirts and the hats at topmadden.com. They better start putting some bandanas out. They, they, they can get me for a couple of bucks. They're like, oh, well, you want the e-book? No, I'm good. Can I get a couple of those bandanas? <laughs> <Just> send over. <laughs> I'll watch the tape of the e-book. Send over the bandana. Second and 11. 95 seconds left in this one. It's been all dreamy.
absolutely put Dubby in a box. Could not get out of it. And to be honest, that's what you get with Michael Vick. That's either a tremendous performance, you can't stop him, or he's absolutely terrible bad. There's that bandana. Dubby, yeah, you're right, he had a good season with Vick. Oh, you're in the divisional round. You just can't help but, you know, feel for Dubby. He put so much into this game. He's so passionate about it and things not to go as he wanted them to. You know it's going to be tough. You know it's going to hurt him for a while. But, you know, he's a Philadelphia fighter. He's, he's going to bounce back. We'll see him again. He's one of the biggest names in the entire community. Look how far back he is from the screen. See him in the lower left-hand side. He's way back there. And I guarantee you, after the game, if they talk to him, he's going to keep it classy. He's going to congratulate Dreamy. He's going to, you know, set a good example for some of these younger players. Even even though he's hurting right now, that, that's the man. He's going through it right now. He, you know, at 30 years old too, you you got to pay your own bills. You got to get up and work. And you had a chance to get an additional twenty thousand dollars. You know what that means. You're old enough to know what that means. And, and let's forget the stigma of the guys living in their basement playing Madden football. These are students, these are athletes, these are family men, these are workers. I'll tell you, yeah, people don't know that stigma. It might start in your mom's basement, or in my case, my mom didn't even have a basement. It started off in my mom's apartment. And, you know, it, it opened up so many doors to me. I got to travel the country, I've been to multiple Super Bowls because of this game. I got a job as a designer on my favorite game of all time. And like you said, sure, it starts off in, in mom's house, but this game will take you places. So if that's the only, if that's what you think of these players, you, you need all the context. I was doing YouTube videos <laughs> in my bedroom, and uh, we're honored to be here. And what a performance by Drini. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to be happy for that young 18-year-old phenom from Washington, D.C. 30-3 to three is the final between Drini and Dubby. Well, let's go down to Adrian Lawrence, who's standing by with both these competitors. A really great matchup between the two of them. Drini, congratulations. You started the season 0-2, and look at you now. You're going to the conference. How does it feel? I mean, it feels great. My job isn't done yet, but it's, I'm taking it one game at a time, and uh, I'm going to be in Texas trying to compete for the $100,000. And you were incredibly dominant in that game, especially in the air. Which play was the most memorable for you? Uh... In the fr my first drive where Herschel Walker, my running back, he was breaking all those tackles and that set me up for seven points and that put W in a bad spot where he was like trying to force things. He threw a pick and uh, from there on, I, I dominated the game. And W, it was a very hard defeat there. You did, I'm sure you worked very hard, but what happened? I don't know, it was the worst game I played. I was really just putting things together on offense all tournament. I really want to apologize to everybody that roots for me and my family at home because that was embarrassing. Very embarrassed with my performance, but I, I couldn't be more happy for Journey. He's a great kid and a great competitor, and I always root for him. And he's a great friend of mine, and he's always got a good heart, and I'm very happy for him, and I'll be interested in rooting him on the rest of the way. I wish him the best. Well, I'm sure your family, friends, and everyone rooting for you is very proud of you. And something you might want to take note of is that I've been told in the past two seasons you've made over $139,000. That's really big. Madden, Madden means a lot to you. I know that. Yeah, I, I love the game. It's really changed me as a man. It, it's taught me a lot of life lessons. It, it's taught me a lot, you know, and I, my family's very grateful, and I'm, you know, the utmost grateful for every opportunity that I'm given. I mean, it sucks, but I set out when I hold the goal. My, I was cool with 50000 this year. That would have made me happy. But, I mean, I'm very disappointed right now, especially the way I performed in the, in the biggest game I played all year. I'm very disappointed. But, you know, I'll look on the bright side, and I'll be able to soak that in later. But, you know, right now it's all about journey. Very happy for him. Well, hopefully next season will be better for you. And Drini, as you move on, what are you expecting, especially since you might face a lot of top Madden folks? Yeah, they're my lab partners, but I'm going to have to play one of them, so I'm really not, I can't lab with anybody now. They're my only lab partner. So, I mean, I'm going to scout on this game and try to prepare. So, yeah, that's all I can say. All right, well, congratulations to you. Thank you. To you, Dave Enrico.